What is up, all you sexy nerds? I am Wildfire One. Once again, you are watching and listening to Nerds New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. Uh, this is episode 127, season 7. Today we have a very special guest, and we're talking about a very special subject. Hello, I am Laser Kid. It's been a while. It has. Episode 2, I believe. I think we talked about... I uh, that about right. We talked about Mega Man. I mean, that's one of my favorite franchises of all time, but we're here to talk about another. Oh, yeah, we're talking, we're talking about something near and dear to my heart. Um... We're talking about the Clone Wars. Like, Heck yeah. And to start off on this, let me explain. Like, I never really cared about the Clone Wars, the anime, the anime series off of like Cartoon Network. When it first came on, I just I didn't like I didn't care for the the animation. I thought it was too blocky. I thought it was honestly, I, I, I hear this a lot from other people, too. I thought it was Star Wars for kids. That's a really common uh, interpretation people have. For yeah. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. It's brutal. I know, right? Early on, you're not. But then, like, by, like, season three, it's, it's like... brutal! Oh, nice. And, they, you know, like, it, it's one of the things for Cartoon Network, especially at that time, you know, the Powerpuff Girls, we're going to destroy this monster. They never use the word kill. Oh, no, they kill the fuck out of everyone in that show. No, there's no... Well, no one cares. Been, like, Sauvage Oppress. It's just like, why? <laughs> it's... It... And it, it, the writing is good, especially... you got to get past maybe oh, the first few seasons... It's it's almost yeah, like the first two seasons are pretty bog standard, mostly what you would expect. There's little good stuff here and there, and I actually really like them. But it's very much what you'd expect. Yeah, there's some really uh, especially going off of the movie, which I actually got went to see that movie in theaters just because I'm the rare guy that likes two thirds of the prequels. I know you don't, but I, I, I enjoy episodes two and three. Well, we I had this conversation. The the Clone Wars made the prequels bearable. Oh yeah, Clone Wars. Okay, even someone like me that likes episode two and three, Clone Wars makes it way better, way way better. There's so much more context there. Well, there's backstory, and that that was the issue with two and three, in my opinion. Is there's just oh, yeah. was, there's a big hole between. Yeah, well, you know, okay, here's young Anakin, then oh, here's not young Anakin, and here's an adult Anakin. Battle hardened, and now he's got camaraderie. And yeah. Life. Yeah, I mean, I, we kind of had yeah, the same thing like, with it. Going back to the original trilogy, we kind of had the same thing with Luke, but there was a little more explanation. We knew yeah, well, where also, Luke was getting his it knowledge. nearly as big of a shift. Because Anakin in episode two was all like, I hate you, Obi Wan. You're not my real dad. Yeah. And episode three was like, Yay, Obi Wan, my buddy. I see him as, I see him as a father. He's like a father. He even says it. He's like a father yeah. to me. And he says it to if Padme. You can just feel the fucking father. lie. <laughs> it didn't hurt me as bad as others because I loved the 2D Clone Wars movie uh, shows and I watched those as they came out. You're talking about the and ones so that I had that bridge, but I, love, I know a lot of people didn't. Yeah, you were talking about the ones that the ones you told me about yesterday, actually, yeah, the ones that were directed by the guy who did uh, yeah. Samurai Jack. Yeah, which uh, yeah. I didn't like. I people are gonna shit on me for this, but I didn't like that animation either. I just thought it was like, I just thought like, this is what I thought, I'm not kidding. I thought the original Clone Wars didn't work out, so they're rebooting it in another fucking way. Which Cartoon Network is pretty known for. Especially now. They do, oh, oh, oh god, don't even get me started. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna get into like, Teen Titans Go, or any of that shit. Because then I'll get, this will be like an angry podcast. And the, uh, you get mm, me going about the uh, Thundercats. Ooh! 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 Thundercats! Ah. Thundercats! Oh, okay. Okay. Mm, calm down. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm going to turn into Gambit. <laughs> Stay on the subject. Okay, here we go. So, what got you, like, what was your first thought on, um, on you know, the very first Clone Wars episode you saw? Like, the one we're talking about, the one on off, off of Cartoon Network. Yeah. So, I went to go see the movie in theaters, and at first I'm like, this is weird. Like, the movie's not bad, but it's not great. It's cool in retrospect. You get to see... And it can meet Ahsoka for the first time, and you get the the, the, the build up of their relationship. And in retrospect, that's really cool stuff. But at the time, it's just like we're going to go save Jabba's son. Ooh. Yeah, there's only so much and of that that's exciting. So I, I didn't actually see season one when it was new because I'm just like this movie was not that great. The the show's probably not going to be that great. I ha as far as I was concerned, I had the 2D Clone Wars. I was happy. I'm like, you don't need to do this. It's already there. It's already good. So you kind of saw it like I did. You kind of saw it as Clone Wars. Clone Wars was like Star Wars yeah, for kids. I totally saw it as like, hey, we're just doing it all over again. Why? Yeah. yeah. 
I had a friend that I, I can't remember which who it was. It was somebody in, in my circles at the time who was watching it in the middle of season two. He's like, "You got to see this," and I managed to snag the Blu-ray sets for season one and then two as soon as it came out before three was on TV. And uh, I I binged the crap out of season one and two. There on were. Blu-ray. There were like season one and two, like we 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 didn't like really diss it, but we said like you got to get past them to get yeah. into the meat and potatoes of the show. You do, but but if you bend them, they're not that bad. There, well, there's there's episodes here and there that you just like that really grasp you. There are, you there know, really are. Um, I'll even say this: if you guys have played uh, Jedi Fallen Order, there there's a part in Jedi Fallen Order where you go to that ice temple where they take the Padawans in season whatever. And I, I didn't know that. I did, had no idea that that was it. I didn't I, until I watched the series, and I was like, "Oh shit, I was yeah. there," you know. Uh, you talk, there's a lot of stuff that comes out of the Clone Wars into a lot of other expanded media. Oh, and the games, yeah. Right down to even like the Mandalorian. Battle Battlefront Two has areas where you're where you're fighting for the clones. Like where they're fighting for uh, that was that their home their home planet the Camino. The, Camino thank you. Yes. So they yeah, they, just, there's that badass battle that they have there, and there's also other battles from that game in the game in in the show too, and it's awesome. It you get this, you just kind of get to see all the little nooks and crannies that you don't get to see about the Jedi Order in the movies, especially Absolutely. in the in old fact, Republic. I, I love skipping ahead a little bit. I love how it starts to show why people would start distrusting the Jedi. It makes a lot of oh sense. yeah, the well, Jedi are the first. Oh. Clearly, the Jedi are traitors for no reason. Well, actually, there's no. a reason. For yeah, there's there the well, people get tired of war, and who ha- and oh, that's what the sh- mean, the show portrayed. Yeah. They got tired of war, and the people at the front lines of that war because of Palpatine were the Jedi. Yeah. So they the Jedi were taking the 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 freaking brink of it. So it just made it that much easier when Palpatine took became the emperor. He he just blamed everything on the Jedi and said we exterminated those fools. You know. It was. It's oh, that yeah. much easier. And they tried try to kill me. Also, not lying, sadly. Well, you know, I wouldn't have died. I wouldn't have been too upset if, if he, if Windu would have finished the job. No, no, I wouldn't either. But like, if you didn't know that he was the Sith Lord, oh man, the Jedi tried to kill the leader of like, our country. Straight murder him. Like murder, death, yeah. kill. Like they were after his life, and I mean, but Windu don't fuck around. Oh no, man! You don't fuck I mean, with Windu. Don't fuck at all. You don't like snakes on planes, and you don't like the Emperor. Nope, nope, we don't. So, but uh, yeah, it, I mean, we we're not gonna go episode by episode because that's just no, way too I much. Could, I couldn't tell you every single episode. Yeah, I like major, major I have I have my favorites. I have certain ones that are that I like more than others, like the the Padawan episodes that I was talking about earlier, where they go and they put they go find their crystal. Oh, the Kyber crystals. Oh, it tells you so yeah, much yeah. more about that. Like, we, we were tired. I, I said it was, like I said, I thought it was um, Star Wars for kids. I was wrong. I, I oh, literally yeah. just it's had to pop lot. it in and watch. Right. It's on uh, Disney Plus. So if you guys want to watch it, it's, it's all there. Get that Disney Including Plus. That silly movie. Oh, yeah, the movie's on there too. Oh, and then, of course, um, I guess towards the, like, the ending of it, I guess people weren't happy with the actual ending the Cartoon Network presented. Now, correct it's me if I'm wrong. It's funny how that works. They were actually in the middle of making season six for Clone Wars mm-hmm. when Disney bought Star Wars. And season six didn't actually air on Cartoon Network. It was whatever oh. was left of production, and it got put on Netflix. Oh, see, that makes sense. I remember when it was on Netflix. And I remember a lot of, but I heard a lot of, like, people bitching about it. They didn't like the end, the, the ending. And I, well, yeah. The, it, the end of the season, season six was. The season six ending is. Not supposed to be the ending, but that they got cut short. It was a, well the way they the way it was ended, it was in the, it was up in the air, and I could see how people were upset. It was just like it was a, it basically ended on the the whole premise of war is hell, which true. Yes, I, I would argue it still does, but in a much more satisfying way. Yes, oh, it still does, but we get so much more out of it now. We got we got to see what happened to Ahsoka, we got to see what happened yeah. to Rex. I mean, it's season. Five ends with <laughs> screw you, Ahsoka. Yes. And then season six ends on Yoda's mystical adventure. Oh yeah, which I gotta admit, like that was pretty cool. 
Though it was... It's cool. They could have did better. It's a great story. It's not a good stopping point. No, it wasn't. But they could have did better. And it, it was really like... Really kind of an explanation of how, how you can... You know, how he... What he went through to go be a force ghost. More or less. Yeah. No, I, I love that. I, I loved how he had to go through stuff with the wills. Because the wills is something in George Lucas's old, 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 old dress. Mmm. And what? they are supposedly the ones telling the story. Yeah, they are the ones that say a long time ago when they got some far from Oh, that's see, I wasn't aware of that. That's fucking cool. What about yeah. uh, what about the episode with the 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 father, the sister, and the brother? Oh, the, the, gosh. the basic the basic that like almost Mortis. like materialization of the force. Yes, the Mortis story. Which yes, is one of my absolute favorites. Fun fact: it explains so much. The, the old Star Wars legend continuity. There was a mother. Hmm. And she was just evil as shit. Final battle for Luke Skywalker, basically. Basically, like she was like a Cthulhu horror monster. Was this before before uh, Disney made stuff canon? Yeah, it makes Way sense. Way before, before Disney. I love that. Like Disney is taking what they like and using it from the books that aren't canon. Oh yeah, there are little things here and there. But like, when I say Molly, that was back then. Clone Wars was still Lucasfilm, so this was based off of that episode. Yeah. And that's really cool. Yeah. Like the mother, the, the sorry, the father, the the sister, and the brother. Like the father is basically, I want to say, I don't even know if this is canon anymore. A gray Jedi, almost. Like he's the middle ground. Gray Jedi's are canon. Are they? They're, they're, I mean, technically, if you jump to Rebels, Ahsoka would definitely be a. True, gray. and so was uh, so was Qui Gon. He was a gray Jedi, I well, believe. Qui Gon, I wouldn't quite say is a gray Jedi, but he he's not annoying. He's the fun thing about Qui Gon is that he's basically what the Jedi are supposed to be, but they're not. It, you know, even the Clone Wars does kind of show like almost not the obviously the fall of the Jedi Order, but almost like a corruption of the Jedi Order. Like, like oh, yeah. they they should and, be and looking over here, but they're they're full of themselves, so they're not looking at the real problem. Definitely, and the worst part is, as much as Palpatine is, you know, masterminding stuff. These are flaws that were already there. Mm -hmm. It's not something new. Well, even introduced. even Maul brings it up when he comes back. He says that you know they're so full, more or less. I mean, these are my words, not uh, interpreting his. Right. They're so full of themselves, and I mean, I think even Palpatine said it. You know, they're so full of themselves they don't see the true evil. Do you, I think Dooku oh. even fucking said it? Well, and to go back to Yoda's magical adventures. He thought he had no darkness in him whatsoever. Yeah, and then he ended up fighting his dark side, which yeah, which was amazing. There because it, it, it's always because it's always there. It, it, no matter what who you are, it doesn't. You can be the most magical being ever. There's always going to be a light and dark side, according to yeah, you know. Absolutely. That's uh, in, in my opinion. That's where I think that uh, that that father, sister, and brother story rings true. Oh, definitely. Like, um, for those of you who don't know, the father, sister, and brother are ba like I mentioned earlier, it's basically a manifestation of the Force. The father is kind of the middle ground, the sister is like the light side, and the brother is the dark side. And throughout the yeah, whole time, I, they're in this I like. The, to say the father's like the total embodiment of both sides of the Force. Yeah, well, I, I say the middle ground because, because it is. That's more or less what, how I look at it. Like, uh, that's why I say kind of gray Jedi ish. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, in that sense, yes. Yes. So, like, and it, it's a really good episode because it's out of nowhere, for one. That was the first season I was watching on TV. We just got and out of a really good story. Blown away. They're, like, teasing it early on. And the Cartoon Network just, like, shows a scene with Darth Vader's helmet being shown to Anakin. And I'm going, no! And I'm just like, holy... Yeah, I'm like, you really went there! Even though he doesn't remember it, he saw it. Mm-hmm. He saw what he was going to become, and he was not happy with it. No, he wasn't, and f to the point where he was going. He went to the dark side, more or less, just to avoid it. Uh, it 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 was a good episode that showed kind of Anakin's dark side as well, and as much as in in his in his good intentions, in my opinion. Yes, that's something I really liked about Clone Wars in general. Time and time again, Anakin was for the greater good, but was willing to play dirty. In ways that other Jedi would. Well, that's why that's why I think Rex liked him, and I think a lot of oh, the yeah. clone troopers 
enjoyed his presence. Uh, I think him and him and that what what's that general that ended up being in the first movie? One of the generals who like like to play dirty. They were stuck on some planet, and he like there was he would always compliment him like, "Hey, you you don't act like most Jedi." Is like, and you know like Obi Wan of course would throw that backhanded comment because he's not like most Jedi. Yeah, I mean, I love Obi-Wan, but one of the things I really like both in the Clone Wars and also episode three, he's a little too tied to the Jedi dogma for his own detriment. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, that that's kind of, you know, you're brought up to think that, and I th- I'm assuming Obi-Wan was probably a youngling there. He was... He was probably oh, yeah. found and brought up as a young as a young young man or a young child and 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 basically basically indoctrinated at a young age. So oh, yeah. of course he's going to believe in it. It makes sense, and it's just uh, and it goes on. You can tell when Disney gets a hold of the series too. Did it was oh, was okay. I right when I told you that? Like you can tell. I mean, it's the last four episodes. The production value goes high. I'm, I have production value, and it makes sense because I know I remember hearing about the Bad Batch. They had animatics and stuff for the Bad Batch, half-created stuff for it, back when season six was premiering on Netflix. We were like, yeah, we didn't quite get to this, uh, but we had early production on it, and, you know, they gave the script went out, and people knew about the Bad Batch stuff. Oh, well, the voice acting was done long before this that was even animated. Yep. So it was. Uh, it's amazing. So and the Bad Batch was an amazing episode all on its own. It's showing... Yeah, like, the, the, a Bad Batch for Clone Troopers is basically like uh, when you first hear about a bad batch it, it, it it's basically like a clone who kind of didn't form correctly like the bad the bad uh, like the clone you throw away unfortunately well, clones that, um, are a little eccentric in like there. 99 I loved 99 fucking oh, yeah. that guy was amazing I also love how they went back to the story of Echo it's yes like, oh gosh getting closure on that you get attached to the clone troopers. You do, movie. like Echo and, and Heavy and, and and all those guys, like and and Fives, like all those guys. You just totally get attached to. And Fives goes out. Hmm. Oh. That broke my heart, yeah. man. You broke my heart. God, too, man. Like this guy was him and Rex were like best of friends, right? Yep. And Fives, like, just basically what happened. Quick story. Fives, his 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 inhibitor chip broke, and he went nuts. He basically we killed a Jedi before he should. Early. Yeah, and they tried to figure it out, and they were this close, man, this close. Oh God, that, that one that one kills me. It kills me how close they got. They could have saved really- so much trouble. Oh, and it, it what gets me, what pisses okay. me off, is the Jedi just look away from it. They just they're just like eh, whatever. What? Uh, Fine, no problems here. We're good, bro. A clone goes bad, and you have an army of them, and you don't lo- think to look into it. You just f- drink the Kool Aid that it's okay. They kill the fucking Jedi. That's uh, fine. They can kill Jedi. Ah, this is what they. Yeah, he just went nuts. He, and then they find out about an inhibitor chip that does, they didn't even know about. That's Palpatine's genius, and it, it, you really get to see it, it during the Clone Wars, it was big time. What's really cool about it, if you get into, like, expanded continuity and stuff, mm-hmm. apparently Darth Plagueis actually started the whole concept of the clones. And then Palpatine's like, that's a great idea. So far, I'm going to do it better and kill you. <laughs> like I said, like, you just, you, you watch the show and people just, di- like, die. And they die dramatically. But, but what I love about it, in its own way, it kind of is Star Wars for kids. Because it's not like I would have a problem with kids watching it. It's, but it's not talking down to kids. No. Treating it as, you know. I, I, it, 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 I would actually say it's relatively safe family viewing, and it's not going to make parents go nuts, and the kids will have plenty of action. And oh, there's a lot of violence, that's for sure. Oh, oh yeah. But, it's, like, there's also good themes going on there. There's oh, yeah, I like that every words. every opening has, like, a moral. I like that. I love that. Oh, it. yeah. yeah. I, I, I was so happy that that was still there in this last season. After Disney got a hold of it, I agree. Like uh, I, I Especially when we got to the last four, because I noticed the shift. Right as soon as we get to that last story, I'm like, oh, hello. The that animation was- got so much better. Like, you can oh, tell that, Di- not, that Disney had more money for it than, than, uh, than like, Cartoon Network. This was my big complaint. I didn't like the, the blocky characters. I didn't like that that hair was all blocked out, and, and it, like, Obi-Wan's beard was all fucking, like... 
all fucking weird looking. I did not like that. I thought it was stupid. I think it was a stylistic choice. It well, was. Where it was. It was. But that it is a stylistic choice. It's. It's just me being like, okay, this looks like it's for kids. Right. It looks like it's dumbed down. I mean, it's gonna insult my intelligence before, uh, that I love Star Wars. Oh. Technical difficulties, folks. Wouldn't be a podcast if we didn't have technical difficulties. Gosh. Star Wars for kids. Star Wars for kids. It it's, really isn't. It really isn't. It, it, it isn't. It isn't, and that's what's great about it is that you end up watching this and it's more than it's not dumbed down for kids the difference well it, it does it shows war as hell it shows that like it doesn't it doesn't like oh ha, ha, we got to do this because of this and if we don't win you know it would be destroyed and da, da, da. you know it, it shows that there's consequence and that's what really kind of makes me go hmm you know that's what made me like about season three or four i was like hmm okay that, that, that's about where it picks up. Yeah, so, you know, like, when, when you start losing your favorite characters, it starts looking like... I can only I can only more or less attribute it to, like, Band of Brothers, the old HBO series about World War yep. II. And, uh, like, because, you know, you, you, you get into the characters. You get into what's going on. You, And it's... it's pff, hell, if you guys love Star Wars, that's a must-watch. That's on my must-watch list now. You know, how Yoda learns to be a Force ghost, you know... And how, how he learns he's not like the omnipotent one that he thought he was. That even he has flaws. Which, uh, I still want to... It even kind of shows, like, how he... You know how he gave up in, in episode three? Where he's like, I lost, so I give up. I, you know, vanish. I must. I must for yeah, some like, reason, even though I was kicking ass. Exactly. So it kind of shows, like, he has this this side of him where he, he does have doubt. If you look at Clone Wars throughout the whole thing... Anakin is slowly being more and more willing to play uh, dirty. Yoda is more and more questioning himself. Obi-Wan is more and more going, what the heck is going on with this war? And the amount of loss that everyone goes through during the Clone Wars. Well, there's, there's one that they're even like trying to get more clones. Like, And, you, and it's great because it shows how, how um, Palpatine gets more money for clones and like how... how he gets money to fund everything. Oh yeah! Like the, the bank clan or whatever you want to call it, uh, the Federation. The yeah, the, he just fucks those guys over, and then puts someone in like the seat, and then fucks him over too. And it it just fucking ingenious. It's good writing. It really is. Oh yeah, no, it's it's fantastic. And it makes sense. It just it's a good block that goes into the, like the black hole that we didn't know happened. You know, and it's. I can't stress it enough. Watch, watch the Clone Wars. It's it's, it's I, fantastic. It's it is. It's fantastic. I couldn't. Um, I I about five years ago, I never thought I'd say this because I, again, I, I I just thought the Clone Wars was stupid. I thought it was dumb. And I personally find the thorough put to other things fantastic with the initial or setup of the dark saber which even has its oh it's showed yeah. up in the end of the mandalorian it and showed I up in the mandalorian. My living shit yeah well it goes back to what i said about like other 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 medias taking what came from that like the dark yeah the dark saber was its origins got explained i mean i think there's even a part in rogue one where there's a file on the dark saber Yes, there is. And it's also like a major, major point of what's basically I consider to be the continuing uh, story of Clone Wars Rebels. Rebels, yeah. We probably won't go into too much here, but. Yeah, well, if, another if one. Do you end up seeing Clone Wars? Watch Rebels. I have to watch Rebels. Rebels it's is basically amazing. Clone Wars 2. And, I mean, doesn't. And Rebels is where Maul meets his end, isn't it? It is. Which. Mmm. Mmm. But we also get mm. returning characters from Clone Wars, um, yeah. namely Rex and Ahsoka, which, yeah. which seeing watch them it for in that. the Imperial era, especially with how Clone Wars actually ends. And here's an interesting Ooh. here's an interesting uh, th- thought about, I don't know, you notice that her lightsabers are, are silver. Yep, lightsabers I are actually sh- know the reason for it, too. Yes, she de-bled them. Now, those of you who know Star Wars canon... To make your lightsaber turn red, you have to bleed the crystal. There's a really cool it's like a ritual. Uh, Star Wars comic that shows Vader doing it. Yes. There's a lot of cerebral crap that goes on into doing yeah. it. Yeah. So, Ahsoka's 
at one point were red. Yep. Which she, makes you wonder. From a Sith at some point. Yes, it uh, makes there, you... there is an answer in I believe there's a book about it. Okay. Well, yeah. So now she got silver, but that that's in of course the Rebel series. See, I will say this: I think Disney has the um, DC curse when it comes to Star Wars, as in like all of the shows are great, but their movies are. Eh. With you the know. exception of Rogue One, all of Disney's movies have been yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and the reason Rogue Star One works is it was a, a story a guy came up with before Disney bought it. Yeah, he Rogue was One was it worked. about it. Rogue One was probably well. probably the, the the movie that felt like Star Wars, like the original trilogy, in my opinion. And so going back to the Clone Wars, the end of this, you find out you know what happened. The, it actually goes all the way. It even talks about events from the it movies. Goes into episode where, three, which is yeah, where happened. Dooku dies. It talks about like that battle, you know, where they where they rescued Palpatine and and uh, you know, do it. <laughs> and Anakin basically mur- straight murdered Dooku. Oh yeah, I mean, we even go into Obi Wan heading off to go fight Grievous even, mm-hmm. and then of course <laughs> Order sixty six happens. And in Order sixty, and that's what I was getting to is Order sixty six. You get to see like Rex started crying. When yep. he when when he had to, I'm not gonna give it away. You guys are gonna watch, but when he had to do what he had to do, and it was right after a pivotal moment, like a gift to Ahsoka, and I'm not gonna give that away either. You gotta watch. Oh gosh! But it was yeah. heart no, wrenching. No. Heart it, it, wrenching. I legitimately cried. Oh. And if nothing else, it really got me because again, I I've been watching since like 2010, 2011, somewhere around. Back when it started. So. Yeah, like, I, I missed the first season or two, but that's about it. Well, you started um, long before I did. I just watched it all recently. So. I've had a long, long time to to love these characters. So you get a little upset when something horrible happens. In, in, yes. And that and inhibitor love chip just... How balanced they approach that. Because there were some things there where it's like, Oh my god, I'm so glad that happened. And there's like, no, why? Mm-hmm. It's just, it, it's one of those things that makes it really worth watching. It, that, yeah, and that's another reason, like, I'm glad Disney got its claws in it. It's, they did so well with that writing. They did so well, and it ended, I want to say it ended better than, than the season six ending. Oh, um, definitely. I, like I said, it was up in the air, war as hell. And I get that, I could see it ending like that. But at the same time, like, this was so much better. I also, because I'd already seen Rebels to its conclusion by the point this season even came out, there was a lot there for Rebels fans to see, okay, how did it get to that point? Mm-hmm. So, the, it, it, no matter how you're watching this, if you've already seen Rebels for some reason, but you didn't get to the last season of Clone Wars, or, God forbid, you haven't seen any Clone Wars, which, I don't know why you watch Rebels if you haven't seen Clone Wars, but... Well, you know... Potato, potato. People do things. People do things. Maybe you didn't know about Clone Wars and you watched Rebels. No matter how you came about the expanded Star Wars television series, you've got to watch Clone Wars. It's the foundation of so much that's come since. Yeah. And there's also little Easter eggs here and there. Like, for God's sake, Chewbacca shows up at one point. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Chewbacca. Yeah, I, I, you know that was that felt like fan service to me though. When it, it's totally fan service, but it's done well. It was done well, and it, there's a little bit of you know a little bit of like okay, cool. There's a lot a story. There's a lot of lore, it, and I think that's what it is. It's it's like playing um, like a, a a Bethesda game. You know they they there's put so, so much, much like even with as much as we have said, there's so much in there's here. There's so much more. There's so much more that, that in the dark saber, like you said, there's they they talk about like what the backstory is with that. They talk about under that. We go into the Night Sisters, which anybody that knows expanded universe continuity from before Disney about lose their pants when you hear that name. Oh, the Night Sisters! Hell yeah! And you oh, get yeah. to see the end of the Night Sisters. If, sort if, of. Well, <laughs> yeah, sort of. Beyond anything else we said, the biggest thing in Clone Wars, if we, if I want to tie a bow on this. If you want to see a plot arc for Darth Maul, this is it. They throw him in there, and then they just go absolutely ham with him. You get and, the Darth Maul I mean, you that wanted. He's on into Rebels, but his character is a character. He's no longer just three sentences. Sir grunty pants. I'm gonna grunt at you and smile. Yes, my there. master. Yeah, we're the uh, last few will have revenge. Why yeah. do you want revenge? I do. It's know. it's not three lines and that's it. You actually get to know the character. 
You know yeah, the tribe he comes he, from. You know... I, honestly, the, the, for every single character in the prequel series, there you get something out of it. Yes. Out of this series where they, they become much more flushed out. I can't upsell this enough. Like, it's... It's worth watching uh, if you're if you're a diehard Star Wars fan, and you want to know why this and that and this happened during the prequels, and you just hated the prequels like I did. It actually gives the prequels more meaning. It actually gives there's more meat and potatoes in those prequels now. Like there's a reason oh, yeah. why Anakin's a big whiny bitch. There's a reason why Anakin grew up to be blah 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 blah. There's a reason why he does what he does, except for that one scene where he's like, in my opinion, the Jedi are evil. That line's always gonna be fucking stupid. It's stupid, but I love it because it just shows how fucking deranged he is at that point. At that point. It's a dumb line, though. I Criticisms, I think, that I will lay against the prequels is that they have the wrong episode 1, 2, and 3. Episode 1 does have some... I, I hate myself for saying this, but it does have some useful information, but I feel like it should have been like an episode zero because the prequel trilogy really should have been about the Clone Wars. Episode two should have been the beginning, and then there should have been an episode two that was all about like a condensed version of the story. Yeah, but and they wanted then to make do it. episode three. They wanted because to make the it a prequel. Problem as it is, or a, a, the Clone Wars a... basically happens off screen. We have a whole show to tell you about, it, and that's fantastic. But as a movie trilogy, it it makes it hard to watch. Mm-hmm. So we just got to see the beginning of the Clone Wars, you know. Yeah, you see, you, the you see the Wars very happen. beginning and the very end. You know, yeah. just like um, one of the things that I, I definitely like to say when I'm comparing, say, the prequel trilogy to like the sequel trilogy. Mm-hmm. The prequel trilogy, for as flawed as it is, has a core narrative at its heart that's good. There's a good story idea there. It's executed not that great. Clone Wars helps a lot with that. Oh god, yes. We're here. But there is a core the, the the rise and fall of Anakin Skywalker and yes. the details of why he gets there if you if you put it on a bullet list, it's a cool story. If you do the same thing for the sequel trilogy, it doesn't. It's, it's not. Well, the sequel trilogy is everywhere. That's the problem. And they they yep. sh- they shouldn't they shouldn't have changed directors. Yeah, they should not. Yeah, Ryan Johnson really shot. The he big sh- one he there. fucking and, uh, no question blew there. the bed up with shit. And but that's but he won't admit to his problem. He won't admit it's his fault. And that's half the problem. Mm, yeah, he wants to blame the fandom because you know that's how that's how you make things better. Blame the fandom. That won't make things. worse. He'll be lucky to work for Disney ever again. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, it's a shame, because he seems like a good director, just not a good Star Wars director. Yeah, you know. Really, I think he just wanted to blow people's minds, like go the opposite direction of what everyone wanted. And Yeah. In this and, case. And, uh, you, he could have gotten away with... This is probably a whole other podcast. You could do The Last Jedi if you made enough modifications to make it fit, but he just went with, with what's very apparently a rough draft. Well, Abrams gave him a beautiful ball of goodness that could have been... And I mean, don't get me wrong. Episodes what seven? Yes, yeah, seven wasn't seven. amazing. It was okay. It was acceptable, but it could have been. I this. have issues with seven as well. Not as many issues, but I, I would not call Force Awakens good. Eh, it was acceptable. More acceptable than oh, the it's last more Jedi. Acceptable. I mean, so is Rise of Skywalker. I, I would actually say Rise of Skywalker as flawed of a movie as is best of the three, but we're talking yeah. about, like, three three shits. Which one do you like better? Yeah, which... Yeah, exactly. The fact of the matter is, and I said this to you the other day, if I could watch the prequels, if I had a choice between watching the prequels again or watching the sequels, I would definitely choose the prequels because the sequels are just oh, too yeah, everywhere. definitely there. the same. And now they make sense I, I, to me. If nothing else, the prequel trilogy gives us a, 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 a reasonable story. There, there, there was clearly a plan there. Well, you know, it's all over the internet now that I guess they're trying to do some more stuff for the, the, the sequels and give it more more con- context and continuity. I think that's actually probably a good thing because Star Wars is a brand that needs to fix it. It needs to be fixed. They need a Band-Aid. That needs a Band-Aid. It needs, it needs more than a Band-Aid. That needs to be sewn back shut because that was that is the dark side of Star Wars. That is nasty. You gave us... Yeah. Abrams, we know you're a good director. You've done good in the past. And, yeah, it's not your fault for fucking The Last Jedi. But, and and, and, and between the the movies you did do, I'm sure there was issues. I'm not going to get into that. 
but Jesus Christ, that that the sequels are just a shit show. Yeah, they really are, um, which is why, honestly, I think I love you know Rebels so much. It's, it was the bright spot in the middle of all of that. <laughs> well, though, you know, Rebels feels more like the original trilogy. It feels like like this is what's going on during during you know before Skywalker does this and that and you know. And, and it, it actually does. You get to see... There's one scene in Rebels, and I'm not going to get too far into this, but I'm just making my point. Um, in Rebels, where you hear like them calling a young Luke as fucking... Um, as Obi-Wan's watching. And that just made me go, oh, man. I know. That, that, that hit home. Um, but yeah, like... I believe that... Between Clone Wars, Rebels, and of course the, the freaking Mandalorian, there's a lot of awesome work being done to oh, help yeah. fix up where the sequel trilogy is screwed up. Well, I think they're finding um, the people who know. And I mean, know. Clone Wars also was cleaning up where the, the prequels screwed up. I'll even go, I'll go so far as to say that, and I like mm-hmm. the prequels, mostly. I, I don't like episode one very much. <laughs> but, that, that's okay. And if you do like but, the prequels, I'm not shitting on, and not just you, but everyone. No, like, here, like That's thing. just not my thing. Let's say you're someone who does like the sequels. It's okay, you're allowed. I don't know express why. But you're allowed to like these things. Yeah, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. It's not that big a deal. It's I'm not gonna judge you for it. I'm just gonna say, hey, it wasn't I'm my thing. <laughs> yeah. In, no, in my head, I'm it, secretly gonna judge you for it. But in my okay. head, I'm gonna be like, what? But no, like, people can like what they like. I think with the amount of fan backlash, it's pretty clear that there's been issues there. Oh yeah. But yeah, I, I think it's good that we have more outside lore to help clean up after it, basically. The, the the prequels, in general, needed it more than anything at the time. And I think that's what's, that, in my I'll opinion, is what's agree with, At that time, definitely. I'll, I'll agree with that. You know, and, and if they, if they, I, I, a part of me wants to go, like, no more no more sequels. Don't, don't, don't do any more. Don't, don't open up. Don't, don't drag that shit bag all over the place and make it worse. But a part of me also wants to go, you know, it worked with this, it might work with that. If they make another... If they decide to make more another trilogy, I'm only if they get with the creative team that's been doing the shows. Yes. That would be my, my viewpoint. Well, don't, I don't want to see another Kathleen Kennedy-driven trilogy. Don't tell me this is the end of the Skywalker trilogy, like, saga, and then, yeah, no, and then no, fucking no. lie to me, and then make another Skywalker saga. Like, that's my only issue. Well, they, 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 they straight up are. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. Which is actually, I'm glad at this point. I, you know what? To, to, to fix the shit show, like we said, to sew up that wound, a part of me is glad, but another part of me is very worried. Like, as long as they, like you just said, if they bring in, they bring in the people who know the lore, they know the series... I can live with that. I well, could. The, 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 the expanded Skywalker project, which has been shown, we, we know a little bit about, is being helmed by Dave Filoni, the yes. Clone Wars Rebels uh, guy. I couldn't be happier. Well, didn't he? Uh, didn't he also do some work in in the Mandalorian? He did. Yeah. Um, that's primarily Favreau, but yes, Filoni did help with Mandalorian. Yeah, there was a whole team of people that worked on oh, yeah. Mandalorian. Oh yeah. Um, the, the reason I, I, I was making the clarification, uh, I didn't list it in there um, as part of that. It, it is something he's helped with, and he, he's, you know, I think he even directed one of the episodes. Um, but it's not his baby, it's Favreau's baby. Yeah. Clone Wars Rebels are totally his babies. Disney, so, read, read my lips, Disney. Okay? I'm going to say this nice and slow. Don't give us another episode eight ever again. No kidding, man. Ever again. I, I, I don't want to... If, if, if it ever gets that bad again... I, I, honestly, the only reason that Episode Eight didn't kill the fans, kill Star Wars for me, was Mandalorian. Because that came out and fixed so much of the damage Last Jedi did. It did. It did. I mean, and that was... And it probably will with the Season 2. It's just it's supposed, to, supposed to come out in October, I believe. Would you guys get a chance to check it out? What would you What would you rate it 1 to 10, The Clone Wars? Clone Wars? Oh, man, that's a, at, at least a solid 9. Yeah, you know what? I'd give it a 9 as well. I'd have to because um, my expectations were down here, and it blew my mind. And there's there's a very few things these days that do that. I, I can't quite give it a 10. There's a few interesting moments where you scratch your head and go, huh? Yeah. But overall, overall, it's fantastic. Overall, and there's a few episodes of the season, certain seasons you're like, 
hmm, I don't know why they did that. You know, like... Yes, especially early on. <laughs> we still have a lot of random Jar Jar episodes that are like, why? Oh, I God. actually liked the Jar Jar episode oh. in, uh, uh, in season six. Where he found his... Where he, like, almost got a girlfriend or whatever. I yeah. Like, yeah, I like that. One, that. that one was good. But early Jar Jar on, seems smart in that episode. Yeah. I, I, it actually made me kind of... Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of like him. Kind of like him, but... but I, early on, there were some weird Jar Jar episodes. It's just like, why? Like, God, no, I want to see more about the well, awesome... St- no. It's like right. they put him in, because I, when Jar Jar first appeared in the, the movie, I, I I called it. I said, they're trying to replace C-3PO and R2-D2 as comic reliefs. That's what that's all Jar Jar was there for. And I, I did not like it. I subscribe to the Darth Jar Jar uh, theory. I believe that that might have been his, Luke's original idea, and then the backlash happened, and so he ditched it. I would have but, liked that. But from from what, I, if you think about it, Lucas did specifically say that the, that the prequels and the se- and the original series were supposed to rhyme with each other. And if you really think about it, the original series, the original trilogy, had Yoda as the wise, bumbling. He appears like a bumbling fool, but he's the wise light side man. He's the he, yeah. He was old and funny and probably a little goofy because he was by himself for years. But yeah, he yeah. was he was the master. You, yeah. Well, what if Jar Jar was the wild, bumbly, silly person, but he's actually the dark side leader? That would have been great. I think. I think that would have been a cool yeah, uh, balance. I, I think I, I I do subscribe. It, it clearly isn't the case in canon as it is as it stands. But it seems to me like that, that that's a plausibly good fear as to what was originally intended for the character. We never found out what happened to Jar Jar after Order 66. We do in Legends, we don't in canon. He felt responsible for the rise of the Empire and did something to try and stop it, but died in the process. Animate that, Disney. I would watch that. I, um, I want to see Jar Jar like die. I would like to see something along that lines too, but only because I think it's cool to see the character well, be a, something more than. Burp, 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 yeah, burp, burp, burp. it's a good arc. It's a good like you know, kind of like at the end. I where, mean, that's the only reason I, I I can deal with the character at all is that he was the useful idiot that got us the empire. And that's yeah yeah. I mean, I I would like to know what happened to him just because he was a thing. I don't care for Jar Jar. I'd like to subscribe to the robot chicken theory of he died and then became a ghost and haunted Darth Vader. I like that, yeah. Annie! I love Annie, that shit. Yay! I'll stop becoming! That shit cracks me <laughs> up. And that would be perfect for Anakin. That would oh, be his... God, that would be the perfect punishment for being... Oh, evil. every night fucking Jar Jar's there just hounding his ass. Oh. I can get behind that. <laughs> well, Alright, guys, I think we're gonna end this. Is there anything else you want to say before we stop here? Okay. No, I think we've uh, covered all that we possibly could and more. All right, guys, with that said and done, we're going to end the podcast. We'll see you next week. We hope uh, till then you stay nerdy, stay sexy. Always. Don't give us another episode eight ever again. <laughs>